Okay, so I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, how I make my money, uh, how I make all my gold in Classic WoW. So I figured uh, I would take a minute and I would show you guys what I do. All right. So first thing off, uh, I use TSM. All right. So Trace Skill Master. Uh, you need to download the app and the desktop companion to make it work right. Uh, and there's a lot of guides on YouTube, so uh, we'll go ahead and check out one of those. And I only use like the basic uh, functions of it, and it does everything I need it to do. There's tons more that you can do, so you know the way I do it is a really good basic uh, way to start, and um, you could always build off of it. All right, so let's get started. All right, I'm at the auction house, uh, and everything I do I just do alchemy um, so I use my my trade window from TSM uh, I usually look for what's making a profit so it tells you over here what's gonna make a profit according to market value of the materials and the market value of the product all right now that doesn't mean everything's always going to sell for this amount right so like greater frost protection doesn't sell a whole lot right so even though there's some posted up and potentially it's a three gold profit maybe not sell as good all right so things i like to work with a lot like elixir and mongoose so i got my auction house open i'm going to search for mountain silver sage i'm going to look and see what there is not a whole lot right now so maybe i'll pass on that but i'll also look at plague bloom See if there's any up here for a good price. Uh, 124, not bad. We're selling for 574 on the mongoose. All right, so maybe I can turn a profit. Let's look and see what we got some mountain silver sage for. I don't know, maybe not. All right, so we look down here. Uh, Elixir superior defense. Look at sungrass. See what's up there. All right, there's some good sungrass up there. So we'll buy those. Buy all 10. Uh, stack of 20. Maybe I'll buy one of those. See, 100%. So it's not bad. Buy that. And let's see what Stone Scale Oil is looking at. Uh, 43 a piece. So maybe we go down. We look at Stone Scale Oil and look at the eels. So if eels are less than 43, it's going to be more beneficial. To buy the eels see we got eels for 27 i got eight there and 19. you know what we'll buy them both all right so that's not bad there still turn a pretty good profit on that defense elixir Let's see what else we can get mighty rage shadow power shadow power is one i usually do decent on even though it's not much profit right now. If we can get our ghost mushrooms at a cheaper price. So three gold a piece, 312. So if we can get our ghost mushrooms at 80, that's not bad. 84, we can get three stacks. So we'll get some ghost mushrooms. There's two stacks and three stacks. That'll give us 20 shadow power. Lips, uh, still kind of low. Elixir of Giants. Let's see if there's any Grom's Blood. Yeah, we can get some Grom's Blood cheap. There's 30. Let's see if we can get some more Sungrass. Yeah, we got Sungrass cheap. We'll buy these two stacks. That means we can get 10 more Grom's Blood. Just take that another stack. And we'll stop there. We'll have a little extra problems but left over, but that's okay. Alright. Invisibility pots. Another good one. Except for I'm gonna use my sungrass to make giants. It's got a little bit better profit on it right now. Magic restore doesn't really make anything. Frost oil. 
okay, but frost power is better. And it uses the same winter's bite. And frost power tends to sell very, very well. Let's see if, I can, if mine sold already. I got a couple up there. Haven't sold yet. So maybe we wait off buying some. Because really there's not a whole lot up there. So let's look down here and see what else we got. Fire protection. I already have a bunch of those up. So if you look at my auctions, I have a bunch of stuff up that I did this morning. All right, so some defense already. Still good turnaround, so I'm going to make some more, post them up. Fire, shadow protection, uh, invisibility pots, and then some have already sold. So a defense sold already, fire pots, mighty rage. All right. So we're going to continue shopping, see if there's anything else we want to make. Free action potions, looking good. So I have 33 strangle kelp already sitting in the bank, so maybe we look at blackmouth oil, see what we got. Uh, 99 to 94 so let's see what we can make it for looks like we can make it for about 70 a pop that'll get me 20 buy out buy out and then we'll buy these two stacks of five Oh, look, we got a six and a four. That'll get me 40 black mouth oil, which is exactly what I need to make 20 free action potions. So that'll be good. So let's see what else we got. Free action potions. Lesser agility doesn't sell too great. Shadow protection. So we got a bunch of. Uh, magic resistance doesn't really sell. All right, so that looks about like all we can do right now or all I'm gonna do right now. So what I'll do is uh, I'll stop, I'll make the stuff and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to post it up. Okay, so I went ahead, I made everything. So now we're gonna post it up. All right, so there is ways to set up operations in TSM to post things for you, right? So I could go to auctioning, I could click the stuff in my bag, I could post it up, right? And there's operations I can do it. But that's not the way I like to do it because I like to see what things are going for before they post up. So the way I do it is I go to shopping and I search for whatever I'm gonna post. So I'm doing Elixir Shadow Powers. I see they're going for 318 because remember we checked them before to make sure that buying the uh, ghost mushrooms is worth it all right so and then you go down here to this button here post all right and i'm going to post in stacks of five and i'm going to post all the stacks i have so i have four stacks of five right and i always like to stack in stacks of five because i find that people when they're buying it they want to buy a stack and if there's a bunch of like scattered ones like you see here there's one stack of one these are stacks of five but i'm gonna undercut this guy all right you know there's 10 random ones here people tend not to want to buy those as much as they want to buy nice stacks of five see i posted mine up on the cheapest price and they're in stacks of five and shadow powers sell they sell a lot all right so elixir giants we're gonna post these up now this is the second round of giants that i posted today all the ones that i posted earlier today all sold every single one of them and they're at 112 percent market price so they're they're good all right so we're gonna post up i made a bunch of them all right so we're stacks of five and we're posting 10 stacks and even though i am the lowest price if I really wanted to push it, I probably could have gone ahead of all these single stacks and maybe made a little bit more, but they're already at a really good price, so I post them up, lowest price, stack to five. Probably by tonight, they're gonna be gone, all right? So then we made free action potions, same thing, search for free action potions, and I'm just shift clicking them to search, and it'll automatically search it, all right? 
237 a piece post them up made four stacks max stacks and i only post for eight hours chances are if it doesn't sell in eight hours it's not going to sell in 24 it might but i check my stuff enough times that if it doesn't sell in eight hours i just repost it instead of paying the price for posting in 24 so like to post these up for eight hours it's two silver but if i post them for 24 it's eight so that's already taken a cut now these aren't too bad but some things the 24 and eight hour price difference is huge all right so post them for eight hours uh, max stacks post them up. all right and then the last thing we have elixirs of defense all right so i see i got one stack down here and i got undercut but that's okay not undercut by much so we're gonna leave those there and we're gonna post up our new ones two stacks for the lowest price all right so that's all we're gonna do right now sometimes after i post stuff up you know i got let's see 459 gold worth of auctions up right now all right some have sold Oh, my invisibility pots sold. So, like, I have no invisibility pots left in here. So, maybe I would go in here, check and see what invisibility pots are going for. Invone. Where's invisibility at? Invisibility. So, 41 profit. See if I can get some sun grass. So, I'm already in auctions. So, we go over here. We look and see if there's some sun grass. So, I already have seven. Look, see, people already posted up more sun grass. So I can buy a stack of sun grass. Let's see what ghost mushrooms are like. All right, look, I can buy a stack of ghost mushrooms right there. And then I'll turn around and I'll post up 20 invis pots, right? Because mine that were up there already sold, sold for a good price. There's no sense to not repost some in, all right? So basically, this is all I do. I look for herbs that are cheaper than market value and I flip them into potions that are more, that are, you know, a higher, higher value, right? So like I said, mongoose, always check your mongoose. Sometimes the herbs just aren't there. Like right now they're not there, right? It's Sunday uh, afternoon. Most stuff isn't up here, right? Come tomorrow morning. There's probably going to be a bunch of plague bloom on Silver Sage, but right now it's just not there, right? Even though they got a good profit buying the herbs at this price, it's going to cut way too much into the profit, so I won't do it. I'll just pass it up. It's all about looking at what is a good price and then selling it. And TSM is a tool that's really going to help you do that. And then once you learn the market, it's going to be even better. Like, I, like on my server... Melee. Melee consumables almost always sell. Right? And then your main caster DPS consumables, so warlock and mages, those always sell. Right? The other ones are kind of iffy. Right? And I've even noticed, too, if you look at the flasks, flasks at the still wisdom sell better than flasks of supreme power, at least right now, because with BWL, healers are struggling a little bit, they need the extra mana and supreme powers whereas yeah they're working the dps they might not be using the flash as much because it's still progression and they're not parsing yet. they're not going for those top parses but in a week or two when people start getting gear i have a feeling the supreme powers are going to go up because the dps are going to start saying oh well now i want to make the parses so they're going to start flasking to really be able to hit those high numbers so right now, Supreme Powers are a little low. The Still Wisdoms are up. Titans are up too, but unfortunately I don't have the recipe for that one right now. Because tanks are still a little bit undergeared. Look at that, see? Oh, you can't see my chat window. Looks your Giants already sold. One of them's gone now already. So, you just got to know what sells. Alright, so if you guys have any questions, post them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. But like I said, TSM is going to be your best friend. Download it, set up your profile on the website. I do pay for the extra uh, service. It's like $15 for six months, and it allows you to have multiple servers, 
right? Keep your rationale. So I have my uh, retail servers, which I don't really play much anymore. And I have the classic servers that I'm on are all set up on it. If you do the free version, I think you can only have one server. So it's up to you if you only play on one server, try it out, uh, test it out, make sure you like it before you pay for it. But I had it, I used it for like a week. I loved it, I paid for it, right? It's one of the best tools you can get for 15 bucks a month or not 15 bucks for six months. It, it's worth every penny of it. Um, and let's check, I got some restorative potions to be the last thing I check, all right, they're still down. And one thing about TSM too, you look at it and it'll tell you what the crafting co the crafting cost was plus profit so if you look right there at the bottom it says tsm crafting cost it costs 325 to make the restorative potions right now i'd be losing 15 silver i'm just going to hold on to them they'll go back up all right and then this guy here for some reason posted them up for three silver bid price and i will just bid on those all right and then one thing i like to look at too is the mana potions Nope. So, things that sell a lot too, always check them and see if there is a real low bid price on it, right? The other day, somebody posted up a bunch of mana potions for like a five silver bid out. I got four stacks of major mana potions for five silver a potion because he didn't realize that he put a bid price on it and it was a short two hour auction. Post put the bid on it and I won them. So always check your stuff. All right, I'm going to cut it off here. I'm rambling. Thank you guys for uh, watching my video. And if you have any questions, feel free. Post them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks.